welcome to SMSU Valorant, the final game of this season, uh, of the regular season, I should say, before we enter the postseason. I'm Afro here with my partner in crime, the man himself, Craw McGraw. How are you doing, Craw? I am doing wonderful today, Afro. I'm really excited to be here casting. We will have SMSU going up against Cotty College, the Comets. Um, SMSU coming into this 3-1 and one with their record. Um, Cotty College seems to be having a record of 0-4. So SMSU going to be the favor here. Going to be loading into Icebox here right Ooh, away. Okay. I mean, Icebox is a map that can be very strong for SMSU, and it could also be uh, a very bad map. It really just depends on what happens here, I guess, uh, to ask. What would be the biggest strategy going into this one with Icebox? Um, I, th I think for SMSU, um, a big part of it is going to be playing off. So we can actually see that they're running um, dual controller. And the main yeah. reason for that actually is, didn't mention this yet, but um, one of SMSU's main A roster uh, members, Kennedy uh, Awoken, is not here today. So subbing in for her is Papa Scrubs on the Omen here. Um, on the B team for Valorant, you know, plays a lot yep. of that omen. But yep. um, so we'll have to see. You know, SMSU do have Reyna. They do have well, Reyna's their only duelist. So just gonna have to see. You know how they uh how they take that and you know use the double controller. Whether they're gonna play slower, whether they're gonna you know play a lot more aggressive. Yeah, and it looks like they're gonna definitely just go in for this. Uh, not really W keying it up. They're gonna wait for the arrow to come out. Going to try and see if they can find anybody. Piece of bread already getting into uh, pipes, but he does fall off slightly as the bullets start flying. Jackson will take first blood, taking out the Sova. And right now, all of SMSU almost has most of the site if they can win these gunfights. Yep, and we can see Papa Scrubs is actually uh, you know lurking up mid, but uh, SMSU probably not going to need it. Um, but it is now 2v2 on the site, so... Oh, but Papa Scrugs coming in with the ghost with the headshot to kind of even it up a little bit. That Phoenix now left by himself in okay. a sandwich. Uh, definitely going to be a good round on SMSU's part. They were able to clean it up there. Almost had a little snag with those kills uh, coming from the Comets. But they did really well to clean it up thanks to that flank coming in by Papa Scruggs. Now, it is worth mentioning that I believe we're playing on the new patch, correct? Yeah, this is, will be the new patch. So, you know, the Classics definitely got hit with some yeah. big nerfs. Yeah. Uh, might so, not be seeing the right click as much as we used to. Yeah, not um, – and the nerfs not only just affecting the right click. You know, they, they, they touched all parts of the classic. They touched the the movement and the running accuracy um, just across the board. So a lot more niche of a gun now. Um, you can't just, like, jump and right click spam with it. Yeah, that's why um, I was uh, – I'm always a ghost main anyway. I never used plastic. Like <laughs> <laughs> didn't need to, and now I have more reason not to use it. And it looks like – they're going to go for that S, uh, the, the classic SMSU uh, strat, just going back up on... Ooh, uh, a piece of bread does not see the Cotty member in the corner. Yeah, and he's definitely getting hit pretty badly here as these guys are coming in hot. They are going to back off, though. Going to try and maybe go for the B push. Yep, we see Papa Scrubs here lurking in the mid once again, you know. Just trying to play off of his smokes, you know. I'm I'm liking this and play. Yeah, look, it that smoke that Papa Scrubs put down is really forcing the comets to just stay in that A site and not letting them uh, rotate out. He does throw out his paranoia, you know, just really making them think that somebody's still there. But now SMSU has the bomb down on B site. Yeah, that plan worked out perfectly for SMSU. They're able to hold it down. And now tr Papa Scrubs getting some kills out here, and they do clean it up with the beast mod getting a 3K, giving them the 2-0 deficit on uh, Comets. They're, they're, Comets aren't looking too hot right now, but it is early. There's still a chance for them to maybe come back here. We're looking at the Econ. It's a little staggered on the side of uh, the Comets, but they can definitely turn around and make some big moves. Yep, SMSU just going to... Oh, no, sorry. That's actually the Comets that are doing full specter. My mm -hmm. bad. Yep, yep. yep. Um, SMSU, though, going to be going into this with a bonus here. Um, you know, just just trying to roll that economy forward you know it's still early on like you said so we're just gonna kind of see if these teams can feel themselves out you know if uh the comets can get a good idea of what smsu is gonna do jackson doesn't get popped by that bird is gonna get the wall up in mid and now that lets smsu just pretty much try and force onto site but they don't necessarily have all that information yet to work with oh my god <laughs> that has had our whole back turn as just Jackson just look at that spacing on yeah. the Comet side. They're all so grouped up. You know, they're not playing. Uh, I, 
don't think they were playing a default at the beginning of this round, so they didn't no. really have anybody on that B side. Oh, and this might be big as Papa Scrooge gets a double kill. And with the stinger, nonetheless, you know, not even a specter. Absolutely disgusting. And that's going to be a big play there from SMS. You almost having everyone live in there. But <laughs> we can see Beast Mods looking around for a rifle, but there's none to be found because Comet's yeah. only bought specters that round. Yeah, I'd even say the biggest uh, thing there by uh, the Comets in terms of just a mistake there, you had everybody kind of grouped up on A with maybe one hiding in mid, just kind of waiting to see if something would happen, and they just completely took control of B side, had that down, and they were just all grouped up, not really having a chance to do anything about it. And as we can see here, SMSU is still doing their same stuff, might be rocking a default as the Comets are now a little more closely together in terms of middle now, so... Yeah, Comet's stacking two on the mid here. Kind of interesting, interesting play. Um, not going to get anything on that recon dart, though. No, SMSU not giving them any free information. And now SMSU pushing up a little bit onto A site with Jackson Wookie, you know, playing up there on that side. The flash does go out. Let's see here what's going to happen with Piece of Bread doing what he has to do. Meanwhile, a lot of the Comets still on that A side expecting a push, but they might be trying to back off ever so slightly. I think it's worth noting that... Uh, you know, SMSU just left uh, Papa Scrubs on the oh. Omen there in the mid, just waiting, you know, sending two members into each site, seeing if they can get picks, and then deciding which of the site they want to go to. And SMSU's going to opt to go for B here. They've got the Viper wall down. Um, Comets have their do theirs down as well, but SMSU will be getting the plant down, and now it's going to force the rotate out. You know, Comets not necessarily being real crisp on that rotate, not necessarily knowing uh, oh, when, to, <laughs> when to rotate early. Loving you know. this... Uh, just th that positioning there by <coughs> piece of bread able to kind of get two kills off of that and back off with his dismiss and now in this 4v2 situation the spikes down not nah, i should say 4v1 now as uh it looks like heart and soup is in a very bad spot probably going to try and get away but you can already see that sage is going to meet yeah, him yeah she has all those sound cues to know that someone's pushing out from kitchen wow. and she just gets obliterated by the Jackson awareness there. the awareness is just is, he had ears like a bat. <laughs> he was out here just <laughs> hearing everything. He knew exactly where they were going to be, and Jackson just picks it up for the team, now making this a 4-0. And, and now, uh, you know, Comets might be doing a light by here. They really should be full saving. Yeah. Um, they, they're not, you know, I don't think they're going to win up against SMSU unless they're on an even playing field playing with rifles. Um, they probably need to full save. Or, or you know, just... You light by so you have uh, 3,900 credits or yeah. 3,900 plus some for utility for the next round. And, um, you can saw, and you even saw there that the Commons actually have two Aries on their side uh, looking very Ooh, piece uh, of bread gonna ult. Oh, That is a scary it. man. When you see him alting, he's going to push into sight. There is that Sage Slow to slow him down oh, a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I that Sage thought. Slow definitely being his demise there. But now SMSU has traded out three members and – only last piece of bread for it, so... Oh, Jackson, in a firefight here with the Viper, will take out Heart and Soup. This could be a possible 4K if they find the Viper. Esprit, last alive. Ooh. Is going to pick up Jackson, but gets easily traded out by the Beast Mod there from Rafters. And that's going to be another 5... That's going to be another round, making this a 5-0. And you can even see, look at the Econ here on SMSU side. Uh, almost at cap for just about everybody. <laughs> Um, and except for, uh, you know, yeah, just like two two people. But, hey, hey, they ball out. They can make moves. Like, you know, this is Comets, you know, the, if, if they hadn't done that staggered by last time, they could have a full team of rifles this time. But now they're going to be forced to have three specters on the side. Not the worst thing, but you have to win your gunfights, and you have to, like, play those close angles to, like, utilize the fact that the specter has some more, you know, moving accuracy. And, like, yeah, you just have to play really smart with it. Um see if SMSU gives them any opportunities to do that. And they definitely did. SMSU did not pick up the bomb as well. They have the Omen, Papa Scruggs waiting in mid in the event that they get the yeah. pick. And I'm not sure. Papa Scruggs might have his alt, so I think, I, I I would assume that's probably what SMSU is doing here. Like, they're trying to get picks, and then um, Scrubs can... Scrubs. <laughs> Scruggs <laughs> can, works out. Scruggs can rotate wherever he needs to be, um, you know, even faster, more if, like, you know, SMSU, if the two members from SMSU float onto site. But and look at the map here. All of SMSU now almost on B site while all the comments are still stuck this on A. This is the second time already this match that we've seen this from them on Icebox. Um, they did this just like two Ooh. rounds ago, and now a piece of bread in an incredibly oh. dangerous situation. Oh. He almost got two pieces off, off of that, and uh, 
it's definitely going to help out SMSU now that it's going to be a 2v4 situation. Yeah, and look at this, just the the crossfire and the angles here that, that are set up between Beastmon and Jackson here. Um, if any members from Comet, like, push from A to try and to try and go um, into Kitchen, they're going to encounter two SMSU players that can peek from both those angles, and it's going to be really, really hard to trade them out. Yeah, and you definitely saw there, I think the biggest mistake that they could have made was over committing to that site, because once they were all on A, you saw SMSU, they cleared all of B site, they knew no one was there, and by the time they that the comments realized, they were already getting caught up in uh, their spawn, getting hit a good couple of times, had no chance to even retake, and I think that's just going to have to be something that the comments have to think about going into these next couple of rounds yeah, as we answer this one. Something I'd like to s maybe see from the comments is if they rotated their Sage to play more in Kitchen. Um, Sage in Kitchen on Icebox has a really, really powerful ability to put her wall down in such a way that you have to break every single block to even get into Kitchen. It is dirty. It um, is absolutely dirty. And Kitchen on Icebox is a really, really important um, piece of map control to have. Because if, if you have Kitchen control, right, you pretty much can split onto either A or B and flood out from it if you want to. You take mid, you win the game. And Papa Scruggs out here with a 2K as the piece of bread picks it up from the flank off of B side. And now SMSU rotating over to B once again. Wow. They just know that Comets is completely on, completely stacked on A. You can just see piece of bread. He's just waiting. He's hunting. He knows. He just knows that Neob and the Sage are here. Caradot, that's her name. And it's not looking too hot for the Comets. They really don't have anywhere else to really go and, uh, here. A 50-50 angle here. Flash Dilk will come out. Papa Scrubs oh, gets picked up. Ooh. But then Jackson peeks right as Piece of Bread peeks, and they pick up Caradot and Neob real quick. Yeah, that was a devastating round on the side of the Comets. They were just not able to uh, be able to just see that, again, the same play that they did before. They, they overcommitted to A, and they just took B pretty easily and you can even see the piece of bread was able to kind of go all the way around to their spawn and hit them from behind so oh look at this mid stack possibly coming up from the comets oh you know i'm sensing it w can they're <laughs> they're just gonna be like you know what screw it let's just go up mid see what happens i think that's what they're probably thinking about. smsu you're gonna have papa scrubs once again lurking in the mid but smsu you're gonna can be con committing their viper wall over to a and there's not oh. a single member of the comets on a site gonna give smsu Full control. Ooh, but Papa no Scrubs will come out. Uh, the Seekers do come out for the Comets, but they're going to be pushing a whole bunch of their members onto the A site. Really hard. Oh, my. Oh, what? Wookie. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wookie getting an absolutely ridiculous Vandal headshot there. Oh, and he sees them too. Spots them. You know, just playing footsie, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, and he just had nothing to do there. And again... SMSU just taking the opportunity to uh, basically do whatever they want as the Comets, again, they, I mean, I, I, I gotta admit, I admire the W key up mid, all right? Like, that, <laughs> that's something that you can do. It's a viable stretch. You know, it's it's a it's a ballsy play, but you gotta have the aim to back it up. You gotta have the crosshair placement. That, and um, I think what they should have did, too, was... Not necessarily seeing that yet. I think what they should have done is that they... they could have had at least three of them go up mid, maybe two of them go up mid, and then just have the rest on a site, just in case you see them pushing up a site. But they all committed, oh. and that just cost them big. And now Comet's actually deciding they want a three stack on B. Um, only playing one on A and one mid, and the, oh, their sky wow. is actually pushing up mid. Piece of Red's going to pick up that one from A, and now it's it's complete free site for SSU. Yeah. They just get, a, get the plant down. And... I, if oh. you're Comets, you cannot be letting SMSU just get a free site right now. You know, SMSU might have Papa Scrubs out there, you know, just lurking, and they're picking him up. But, like, you give SMSU a free site, they're just going to take site control. They're going to put their utility down. Yep. Like, they have Viper, so they have post-plant mollies. Um, they have the Sage for the wall if they want to. And they oh. can just set up crossfires. 4K? What the? And he's using alt too. <laughs> he uses you alt for one person. You don't have to do that. That is solo a little alt. bit of disrespect there. Wow. Let's be real. That no, but, uh, <laughs> never solo alt on somebody. That's just crazy. And it's it's one of those situations where you come off of such a big round on SMSU side. You now you're going 0 and 9, round 10. What is what is Comet's strategy here? They they seem to overcommit too much, and I think that's costing them big. And I feel like if they just played a little more passive, they can at least try something to kind of keep them away or manipulate them to go somewhere else. Seeing another uh, another uh, 
light by here coming out from comets. Um, not necessarily the fan of that. Um, they've only got one Vandal versus the op, two Spectres and two Vandals on the side of SMSU. Um, and SMSU clearly displaying a lot more um, like <laughs> aggression. I got to admire the movement here by Piece of Bread. He's just <laughs> moving around. He's just like, I got He's this. He's not letting himself get seen at all. Yeah, this traversal is absolutely insane. Look at him. He's just, he's just playing happy. He's just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Wookie does get the op shot on ace bay and he doesn't even have an idea he doesn't even know <laughs> piece of bread you know you know if you're you know piece of bread there he hears the aries he's like i've got a vandal <laughs> i'm gonna kill this guy i'm gonna click on this guy's head oh. before he has the chance to like you know for his areas to like wind up or anything and uh you know him and coming out with a 3k yeah and he does come out with that 3k i mean that was absolutely insane by the piece of bread able to just kind of Go in there, stealth, like just stealthing it up all the way up to their side, getting a nest, and then being able to jump onto raptors and then just annihilate the viper. We had no idea that she was there in the first place. Like it's, it's crazy to think that this is how SMSU would be playing on Icebox. But I know we talked about how earlier it was uh, a 50 50 map. This is 100% their element right now. They, they're in the zone for this one. Oh, well, the worlds collide here. SMSU is positioning towards A N. Comets may have actually stacked the correct site this time. But we oh. see Papa Scrubs is actually alted into the back. They have their Viper alt down on B um, proactively, but it's not going to help him at all. And he had no idea. The smoke just being so detrimental. Jackson does get a kill as well. And uh, two kills now as they get and bombed. And Viper is just left alone on B site. Probably maybe may uh, not even look have at an SMSU. Idea. They're just going hunting. They don't even care. They smell blood in the water. Might as well ball out right. And, and Viper, you can hear it there. She's got the Aries. That is absolutely crazy. I uh, it is interesting to see how they've done so well this last round before the half, and with an 11-0, possibly 12-0 with the way that they're playing with such a surge of momentum. This might just be SMSU's game. This is going to have to be the Comets way of just being like, all right, so we did not do well on Icebox. Let's just try a different map. Let's try a different team composition maybe and see if we can maybe make some luck on that. Yeah, you know, I think I think the Comets team comp is, is just fine. You know, they have the Viper. They've, you don't have to have Sage on Icebox anymore after they changed uh, one of the boxes on B-Site to be penetratable, non-penetratable. Mm -hmm. um, but... I just really think a lot of it comes down to the fundamentals of the game. Um, they're not necessarily playing for information. You know, they're just kind of WKing in a lot. Um, I think that's... Oh, oh, but the double kill there by Heart and Soup going to be traded out by Wookie. Neob does pick up one, and now a piece of bread. Left one with the Beast... Or left one with Papa Scrubs, not the Beast mod. In a 2v2 situation. Oh, he does get the headshot. It's now 1v2 nope. here. Papa Scrubs alone to fend off the Comets. I have to see if the sub that is Papa Scrubs can pick them up. Ooh. Does pick up one. Can he pick up two? Yes, he can. Up can a he second. Come on, get that three piece. That's, you know it's there. He wants it. And he almost gets it, but he stops shooting. He just barely whiffs there. And that's going to be the first round that the Comets get for this game right before the half ends as we swap sides here. Let's see if maybe the Comets can make some moves on the attack. You know, we saw their defense. It was a lot of aggressive W keying or an overcommitment to one site. Maybe they like to switch it up a little bit on the attack side. This is pistol round, so, I mean, you're going to probably do what everyone does, right? You just take a site with pistols. So let's see how they do it here. Papa Scrub's going to be the first one to encounter him here more than likely. They will probably be pushing through in at one of his smokes, though, So and he does have a frenzy. See if he can't pop off with that. Only classics on the side of Comets. Yeah. Got two ghosts on the side of SMSU. So definitely, you know, going going for more of that damage, going more of that gunfight mentality on the side of SMSU. Oh, this could be big for Papa Scrubs. He can hear him. But he, <laughs> he knows. He picks up one. He does you know, pick up one. Frenzy doesn't have a lot of bullets in it. Only has twelve, and it's a fully automatic gun. So if you miss those first couple shots, it really hurts. Yeah, definitely got a little bit lucky there on that last one, getting the pick off, and it's going to be Jackson now going down. Now a three v four situation. They got bombed down, and you can see the Reyna in B main going up on the Viper here. Probably going to get that. Yeah, he definitely gets the flank. 
but immediately gets shot yeah, down. Piece of bread, trying, trying to push, trying Ooh, to get something. Ooh, the shock dart. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that was an absolutely insane play. That shock dart was what evened it up. I have to say, the Reina was able to throw everybody's attention toward her. They all start shooting. He shoots out a shock dart, takes out one of them, and then you have you know the beast mod coming in there with some moves of his own. <laughs> I and just I love that new skin on the side of Wookie there. You know, oh, I, it's so I'm, good. I'm a sucker for this comic book style and just the click clack pow 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 pow. You know when he's right clicking. Gotta love some onomatopoeia. Wonderful. It is great. I mean, I'm hoping they release some more because uh, I'm I'm no cap. I might just buy a gun or two. Like that's just. These are actually really nice. But, Wookie uh, is making this jump look really easy, and I, could I, have, never. I have tried this jump <laughs> a million times in game myself, and I I can never get it. Yeah, no, it is it is uh it can't do it can't do it. I just don't I don't even try anymore. That's just how it goes. <laughs> Match point now, possibility for a, a game one win here for SMSU as they just kind of batten down the hatches. You see the viper going for a we mid push. Yeah, we can see that Neob just he he keeps trying to. Trying to peek with that right click and just get something. Trying to pre-fire. Ooh, Ooh what a perfect shock dart! <laughs> right in the center of it too. Oh, but the beast mod is on the flank. Yeah, he is. Oh, is he about to get two? Maybe even three. Does get two. Oh my goodness! Piece of bread though comes in with this vector for another two K. And beast mod finishes up with a three K for the round. Wow! I gotta say, uh, I'm I'm floored. <laughs> I'm absolutely floored from that game. That was a really strong showing by smsu they did their thing in that game and i i don't even know what to really say for like like any improvements on smsu side yet we already said what had to be said on the side for you know the comments and i think this is just a game where you gotta take a look at what you did wrong and just come back and try again next game that's all you can really do you know well, uh, just just a little bit of a uh, of fun here we're looking at the twitch chat and one of my uh, rocket league teammates juicy dill wants a shout out here on stream so <laughs> juicy dill hey here's a shout out Woo! make you happy <laughs> but smsu you know doing a lot um Cotty college uh, not looking the greatest um, yeah definitely gonna be a uh, hard game to come back from uh in a 13-1 game it's uh you, you're gonna want to take that one and be like yeah I, we did we did bad you know that's just how it goes they outplayed us they outgunned us yeah I, I, I think just looking at like how how Cotty College was playing that game um I I don't know how young their program is or anything mm -hmm. if it's a new program but um it looks it looks like they could use a lot of uh, fundamental practice, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I would. I can agree. I think what happened there was just a matter of, you know, we even saw in the band picks, uh, Breathing Fracture was definitely not <laughs> going to be one of the maps being used. <laughs> you know, some of the newer maps are kind of controversial and a little bit too much for me, so I yeah, can understand. Yeah, if... If you're not if if you know if you know that SMSU is three and one and you're zero and four, you do not want to take them on mm -hmm. breeze whatsoever. Nope. You don't want to nope. mess with those long sight lines. Nope. It's not gonna be a fun time. I ain't touching that with a ten. It's foot just pole. not something you wanna do. And it looks like we're gonna go right into game two. We're on Haven now. Big plays. This is the ha Haven. I mean, you know, I, I don't wanna jinx the, the amount of times they play this map. They do play this map quite a bit. But I know I said that how Icebox is 50-50, and we saw how they performed there. So I'm not I'm not even going to say the probability for this one, you know. Uh, but it is a very attacker-heavy map with the amount of sights you can do. And I think we're probably going to see a lot of the same coming from the Comets and also SMSU. I do see Astro on the field now. so Ooh, We get to see Papa Scrubs here more than likely on this raise. Um, saw him last year play that quite a bit. And yeah. He really loves to just blast back in there and just try and do his thing. Hey, um, so it works most of the time, you know. <laughs> for the most part, I see it. It's like okay, hey, the mobility is great. The grenades do wonders on a map like Haven. You can really lock down specific points if you really want to, and you're on attack as well. So definitely going to want to throw it like to the spots where you know people are going to be at. It's definitely going to help them out in the long run. I'm very excited to see how this goes. Yeah, going to see the same comp coming out from um, the comets, you know not deciding to run that Astra gonna have that Viper there instead um, I think that can work it's it's just fine um, you know Astra is just really useful in Haven because you can you can activate your oh, multiple yeah. smokes all at once yeah it's why they pick it's why they pick Astra over Omen after she came out because like 
Almond's a really good smoke agent, but you have to like place each of your smokes one by one. Yeah, and she just has that ability to trigger all of them at yeah, once. Yeah, so and especially on a site like Haven where there's three there's three bomb sites, and if you want to like take advantage of that as attackers, you want to hit a site hard and fast. Yeah, and Astra lets you do that. Yeah, and especially with that added utility of not just the smokes, but the concussions, the the stuns, like the pull in. She just has a lot of viable tools, and of course, the world divided is so good on a map like Haven because it splits right through the map on a three side yeah. map. Who knows where they're gonna be? Who knows where they're gonna try and push? Like, it basically controls everything, and you can see here that on the side Ooh, of gonna uh, see a shorty <laughs> coming out here from Nia. Are oh, they, actually, you're gonna see a full they, shorty. In all my that, <laughs> that might be the comments just deciding, you know what? Let's this just, is the last game. Let's ball. This out. is the last game. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's just have some fun. You know, let's not try and take it like oh, too seriously. Oh, these these are they're cheeky with this one. I thought maybe W P you know. <laughs> nah, they're they're gonna wait that, hit up the, some crossfires with some shorties, like <laughs> Oh but heart soup falls right away, but now as you're gonna be the pushing into a full stack. Oh, the blender. Oh my goodness, they got absolutely destroyed. Crop of scrubs using that frenzy that time to get a double kill. And it will be a 2v2 situation. Very interesting play by the Comets. Going for an all shorty and not going for W King, but rather just holding angles. And it worked for the most part because now we're at an even game. They picked up pistols, and they're going to try and take out SMSU yeah, here. SMSU will be getting the bomb down here over on Seasight. Yeah, if I was on the mind, if I was in the mind of an SMSU player, I'd be like, "What just, what just happened?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> they really just went out here in camp. Well, and just I mean, <laughs> it, you know, it kind of worked. It yeah. kind of worked. Like, it, they're not in, a, they're not in a man disadvantage. No, like this is definitely probably the best situation you could possibly put yourself in. But now that recon dart does come out, it's going to spot Neob. Oh, he does Neob get is going to pick up Wookie though. Going to have his teammate tap the bomb. Oh, but Beastmod's going to pick her off. Spike. But they do get the defuse. So. That's good. That's good for it comics. Worked. It worked. That's the thing. It's so crazy to me that that actually like worked out for them in the best possible way, and they will take this first round. So I gotta respect that. Like, if you you know this Valorant in the game of Valorant, anything can happen. You know, so seeing them do a play like that, a very uh, <laughs> a very controversial play, I would say. I don't know if I would see that in some professional yeah. competition, but hey, it can happen. We we are having a little bit of difficulty here on 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 our observer side. Um, somehow we lost our map, um, so we're trying to figure out how to get that back. But until we do, you know, we're gonna keep it real with you guys. We're gonna keep talking and uh, yeah, you know, just mean, try and give you guys some uh, some enjoyment out we, of this. We game. like to keep it real, you know. And it looks like for the most part they're gonna be a little on the side of SMSU anyway. They're gonna be a little more passive with this one, uh, as comments are just all over B. Uh, C. <laughs> My bad. The three sides always messing me up, but it, they do... Yep. They are forced act on C. Um, Papa Scrubs kind of trying to get some info there. Neither team really fully committing yet. We do at least have the outlines on the map so that we can see where everybody is, and and our observer can tab to, to let us know. And SMSU is going to be pushing on to the A. Not a single member. Yeah, they of, uh, and we're we're seeing a lot there. seeing a lot of the the stuff happening here. Very similar to what they did on Icebox. They are gonna try their best to uh probably go for a retake, but with this the the stuff they got set up on the side of SMSU and is insane. look at look at SMSU here. Beastmon and Papa Scrubs popped in there as a Ooh, double ninety ninety angle crossfire. Look at this crossfire coming up here. They have the nades, they've got the the flashes, they have the Astra Suck. Now it comes down to Wookie being able to see them coming in from window. Oh my god. <laughs> the right click comes out from Beast Mod there. Faithful just lead. Instantly taking him out. Oh my Oh my goodness. <laughs> Papa Scrubs there. Just knows he can do whatever he wants. Just utilizing that choke point and then Beast Mod just with a, a walking, striding shot, killing the Phoenix in heaven. And that's gonna be the first round under SMSU's belt for this game. Now one one. Definitely uh I'm, Looking I'm, pretty good. I'm starting to wonder if the minimap is actually a bug and not just um, some a hotkey we pressed wrong. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm in at, too, because it <laughs> sure looks like uh, <laughs> we're in a situation where it's like, I, I mean, I'm, maybe the map's on a hotkey, but that would be strange. But we are taking a look to see how it's going on our side. We might just have to do this, you know. <laughs> oh, there, it's back. 
Perhaps it was a hotkey. Hey, you, th- you know, <laughs> it just happens like that. We we like to keep it uh, real. We like to improv a little bit. You know, it's just, just it's just how it is. We're just having some fun, you know. I think I think our director was just uh, testing us to see if we knew enough game knowledge. Yeah, he wanted to see if we could uh, if if we could do what we needed to do without oh. the info of the mini map, which is pretty hard. Because to be honest, when we're, <laughs> when we're casting these games, we're not really looking a whole lot at what's mm-hmm. directly going on, on screen. We're looking at the map so that we can see who's going to encounter who. Right, and you and we just saw Jackson with that clean 2K. Getting some moves here, and oh my goodness! Oh, Papa Scrubs trying to move all your shoots there, not really letting his uh, you know, could have just tap, tap, tapped. Yeah, the the momentum do be uh hitting sometimes. Uh, it can really screw you up with the aim. Ooh, ace wow. in a bad place. Wow. Yeah, definitely gonna give that one to SMSU. I think the biggest problem, as we said before in previous games that we've seen, it's it's just that overcommitment to the the site. And that's just giving up big place for SMSU, as we saw again. Oh, we we, we see that comments. They they don't have like any money right now, and they uh, are you can tell down bad. you can tell that they're like feeling the pressure. They like feel like they need to buy something. You know, it's yeah. counterintuitive and it's counterintuitive environment, right? Like you feel like when you're down rounds that you have to buy something up so that yeah. you can like keep fighting. Um, when that actually puts you further behind because you have a much lower probability of like Look winning the round with the at lesser uh, this setup here. Can I just say again, <laughs> out with the shorties, <laughs> one Aries, four shorties, gonna try and make it work. But if the toxic goes down, that viper's gonna be left exposed, and that's not. Yeah, gonna be good. piece of bread. He's he does not want to push in. Jackson does pick up Ace. Ooh. Picks up a second. Oh, Gets taken out by the shorty, though, so there by Caradot. Dirty. So <laughs> dirty to do that. It's It works almost, though. It's like. But now, Heart and Soup, last one alive against three members of SBCU, oh, only has the shorty and gets taken out by running the Running out with there. the flash. Definitely uh, a situation where it could have worked again, but I think they that reluctance to push in the smoke as well, I think that smoke probably would have actually. I think that smoke didn't help the comments at all because. That smoke pushed them off enough for SMSU to just go a different way. So, like, if they yeah, waited. Yeah, well, and it's it's a Viper smoke, too, right? Like, it's not a regular smoke where yeah. you can just, like, push through it and you're fine. You go into a Viper smoke, you're immediately taking 50 points of decay damage, which once you're out of the smoke, you, like, really quickly get that, that health back. Yeah. But, uh, you know, 50, 50 points of decay damage definitely make you a lot easier for a shorty to take you out. Yeah, definitely not going to be the best play. But, hey, for the most part... That was still a good play on commas. They still got a couple kills. Who the op- judge by Nia? Oh, what an upgrade! <laughs> takes out a piece of bread. <laughs> Going for oh, the- a Bucky here on S on are ESAP. They- I think I think it's ESAP. Are they uh, are they all rocking a shotgun right now? <laughs> I don't uh, think they all are, but uh, you know, a Bucky and a judge in garage. Okay, pretty yeah. ballsy. <laughs> I won't lie that yeah, and they have all of mid under control. Papa Scruggs going in with the. With the rocket. Oh, but he's gonna he's gonna go in. Oh, he does pick up one. He gets oh, two. Oh, gets wow. taken up by Ace Bay though with the with the Aries. That would have been a great save on the side of the comets if they were just a bit earlier before that rocket got shot. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uses the Astra suck and gets a real free headshot there. Wookie gonna be in mid window, take out the rotating member of the comets, and it's gonna be another round for SMSU here. Yeah, that was a big play there on the side for uh, Papa Scruggs. He hit that rocket that took out one, then he took out a second. If he was just a I, couple seconds, I really thought early. he was gonna he was gonna push too far in mm, and then get yeah. instantly taken out by the Bucky. Um, but he got that rocket shot off and was still able to pick up the Bucky player in the corner. Yeah, I think that that was the big play on their part. If the comments were just a little more quicker on that reaction time, they were able they could have caught the that ult off and probably would have had two people still living right now as they go for the seekers oh, so you just p- throwing the seekers out right away just just world divided comes out there's not a single member of comets on the a site right now yeah, like you can even tell by <laughs> when they threw out the seekers it went backward <laughs> it didn't even go forward so they knew like well there's no one here because we're running up on site and the seekers are going backward so we might as well just take site what's funny there too is uh if smsu decided they wanted oh. to put that world divided um you know um, I guess it would be vertically on the A site, like up and down. Wow. Um, Comets wouldn't have any idea that they were even on the A site other than the world divided because they wouldn't have any sound cues. Yeah, they had no idea. They had no idea. And looking here at this situation, East Aptry will oh, get he this does, one. Oh, he does pick up on with the Aries. You know, doesn't get instant head tapped. 
Only has 75 health, though, now, so it's a two-shot from the oh, Vandal. Oh, man, that cursor movement at the wrong timing there, and it's going to cost big time as they go up another round. And SMSU is doing really well, again, as we saw in Icebox. Just taking advantage of this situation on the side of the Comets. And you can even see that now a little bit of that same stuff. Viper kind of going towards C, really into C. Probably going to go try for even flanking, maybe. Whereas the Phoenix is sitting pretty. And you can see that Noob has the op now. <laughs> and they have a Marshall. So definitely going to try. Interesting. Interesting buy. I, I won't lie. You know, I like really, really trying. <laughs> he gets oh, oh, he does get the does shot, get, Does get jump, jump, jump spotted. There's the words. Words are hard tonight. Hey, high energy. <laughs> That's what we <laughs> like here. And, again, that op just watching that A main. You know, definitely not something SMSU was expecting at all. No. I'm guaranteed. Um, after these staggered buys by Comets, like, you don't expect to see an op just holding A, a main at all yeah and i think even even with the op shot that that kind of set the tone for this one but i think if that sova went into a short and flanked them would have gotten a lot more kills because they stayed there for quite a bit and papa scrubs is he gonna get no he doesn't quite get slow orbed actually because the i think because the wall was there it might have also just been where the slow orb got placed yeah i remember but the SMSU. old days of day one sage orb but that just covered an entire side yeah <laughs> yeah it was but you know, back in those days, it was a whole bunch of fun because you could you could bunny hop over it if you wanted to. That's true. That oh, I missed the good old days. <laughs> I feel so <laughs> old saying that, but that <laughs> that's just how I feel. Pop Scrubs does pick up knee up there, so SMSU gonna get a free op if they want it. Um, not sure that they're gonna pick it up honestly, as they are attackers. Yeah, might as well just try and go for picks at this point. Do <laughs> you really need bomb? <laughs> Papa Scrubs just uh playing ring around the rosy oh. there in the B site with Caradot. Um, not quite seeing her in Caradot. Managing to get Niub back up. So Comets will still have that op. So it is a 3v3, but SMSU has full site lockdown, and they have a ton of utility to do whatever they want to with this site. They have Killjoy locked down. Yeah. They've got Silva still alive. they got Astra. Oh, and Jackson oh. gets caught with his... Caught lacking. With his knife out. And they're going to run on site, too. That's interesting. I, I'm... Very, uh, I guess I could say I'm confused about the the way that they did that. You had Niu who came back up. They had Op. So why didn't he just turn around and save the Op? I'm going to guess that it comes back down to that fundamentals of just knowing how to play mm -hmm. competitive Valorant. I think at, at that point, if, if you know you grab the Op, you, you save, just get out of there as best as you can. You have the op. That's really what you want. Yeah. For for those listening that may not know, um, when the bomb is planted, there's a sound cue that keeps uh, doubling in speed. And once you hear a certain sound cue and the bomb is red on site, you know that you do not have time to defuse it. Yep. And it takes uh, seven seconds to fully defuse it. Um, if you get it to half, it's four seconds, and then it only takes three. So just understanding Ooh. that is really important if, you know, and it looks like Jackson is giving them a taste of their own medicine with that crispy, crispy judge. <laughs> they will <laughs> get that killjoy out. They will plant the bomb. No one on the Comet side is even aware of what's going on. And uh, Comets, <laughs> you know, they know that that killjoy alt is over there, right? But, like, they don't even rotate their other members over until the killjoy alt wears off. Maybe they thought so it was a fake. Maybe they thought it was a fake, you know? Um yeah, SMSU hasn't really been faking though. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, they, they did they did fake on Icebox a little bit, but you know, nothing too too insane. And it looks like here they're gonna try, probably going for that reek take again. Ace Bay going in there, and the beast mod just immediately takes her out. Ace Hop Tree alone Ooh. with beast mod, and beast mod just gonna yeah. finish finish them off for that three K for the round. And again, now we're looking at this situation, right? Seven one. Where, where are we? What are we doing wrong, right? That's if I was the coach, I that's what I'd say. You know, what what, what is going on with like our our ways of thinking? Because you see that now we have the situation where SMSU just kind of gets on site, they get bombed, they don't hunt unless they really really want to, and then they just have the angles placed so perfectly. It's like, what do you do in that situation, you know? Yeah, I, it really seems like SMSU is, like, coordinated and playing as a team, you know, playing off of each other. Like, you know, because Valorant's not one of those games where, like, one person just can run in and, like, 
one B five. Oh my! God. Did you see? Did you see the lineup on that? <laughs> that shock dart hit pinpoint, and then proceeded to get shot in the face. <laughs> I like. <laughs> that was it's a, hard to compete against that. Let's be real. Yeah, and Esepchi will we'll get the kill on the beast mod. We'll get the, another kill on Jackson with the double headshot. Looking real nice right now. Ooh, piece of bread alone in sight. Oh, misses oh, the first shot. He will get the he will get that wall bang though. Yep. And Sova's going for the ult on one person as Piece of Bread gets a 4K. Almost an ace there. SMSU now up yeah, 8. Yeah, a 3v1 one. situation. Um, if SMSU is feeling any pressure, they're not using their Sova ult there. Mm -mm. Like, that's... Mm -mm. Um, but th just them doing that there, feeling pretty dang confident. Um, yeah, the fact that he went for an ult. Rightfully so. <laughs> like, uh, the fact that he went for that ult in a 1v3 situation even and i feel like they knew where they were i feel like that was just a sense of like i right, look we're just doing this to do this all right we're sending a message to everybody else as well in the in our postseason that you, whoever beat us in the regular season uh we're coming for you that's just how it goes you know They're, this is a message and seeing this here smsu not being super aggressive upside. We, we have scrubs. yet to see Papa Scrubs, you know, double blast back on the site. Yeah, that's actually an interesting point to make. He, he usually makes the kind of decisions to just go uh, ball. SMSU, ball, once but. again, just getting a free site here with the uh, over rotation. Well, just over push. Ooh. There's two members of the comments in SMSU's spawn. And Going for, a, for the flank up the middle, but you can see Wookie's already in window, catches the Viper off guard, and now waits as Heart and Soup now witnessing this happen oh the flash doesn't hit around the corner so she doesn't get the information that the flash worked and he just Look, gives he just gets dome. a real quick flick there now so we saw that oh, oh he sees him yeah i don't i don't think he heard him in time yeah but the arrow does give off where he is on the map specifically that arrow worked out perfectly for smsu they were able to pick him up and now nine one with one more round after this one before the end of the half and it's looking dire for the Comets right now. Even when they try to go for flanks, SMSC is just able to read it. Every time they overcommit to somewhere, they're able to read it. There's just not a lot that the Comets can do right now other than probably just play a little more passively. Like, you just got to take yeah, some angles. Yeah, they – I'm not real sure what they can do on Haven here with the three bomb sites, really, because SMSU has them outclassed, you know, gunplay-wise. Yeah. Um, and it – Pretty much seems like they have them outclassed game uh, Ooh, game sense wise too. The op from Wookie taking out ESAP tree. Another op kill. Ooh, Papa Scrubs, will you blast back into sight? Oh. No, he just wants to alt in. <laughs> He's just going for it. Could this be Oh, and it will be a flawless. Didn't want to say it outright <laughs> at that moment, because you know, I didn't want to jinx it. That commentated curse just be popping up every now and again, but it will be last round before swap ten one. Is that the is that the first flawless we've seen? Uh, I believe we may have gotten close to some flawlesses, but I believe this is the first one we saw. Because in like this pro game. props to comments in, in that respect, like they're not getting you know aced and flawless by SMSU like you know round after round after yeah. round. I like, believe on Icebox they, they are, got flawless I think once or twice. They are at least like trading out and picking up some of the SMSU members. Um, yeah. So, like, that SMSU is pretty clearly right now the better team. Um, but you do just have to be happy with yourself for what you can get. Yeah, I mean, getting a team kills, that's more coordinated. Getting picks on a team like this is definitely going to be giving me mm -hmm. a bunch of confidence. Isn't going to see Nia put the judge there. Yikes. <laughs> that really cheeky uh, Viper Molly there. Or not Molly, but Smoke. In Garage, letting Nia do that. The scrubs. Oh, oh but Wookie with the crisp no. op, sh op shot there on to see. Absolute dogging right now. <laughs> with that he's not gonna pick up one more. He will get. You really can't be running into a into a pre aimed. Uh, oh wow! <laughs> Honestly, see, and that's the type of team play I'm talking about right yeah. there, right? Like the beast mod is there. He gets flashed. His teammate is right behind him. So even though you flash the person that you're going to peek out into, yeah. you're essentially peeking out into a double peek. Yeah, that that flash was good on the side of the Comets, but the piece of bread was there to scout it in the event that he did get flashed, and it was just an immediate shot shutdown of that Phoenix getting out of the garage. 
And now, swapping sides, we're seeing the Comets for the first time on Haven going for their attack. And you can see here that Jackson's already got a Shorty, we got a Sheriff, a Frenzy, and looks like all Classics on the side of the Comets might be going but for a mid push. Yeah, all Classics, but I guess I guess Ace Bay and ESAP Tree, um, oh, no, they just didn't buy. Yeah, or I think at least they ESAP just didn't. Yeah, I believe I believe some of them probably just didn't go for the buy. They just thought, well, we got classics. Let's just run in there. They will wall off the C link side and just go for it. Jackson will get immediately shot down. Well, Wookie does get a shock dart kill there, though. I believe they will have at least a little bit of time to plant, and they will. But at that point, SMSU's already on site, and they just completely annihilate this push up mid. Waited for them to go for the uh, spike, and then as soon as they did, just immediately <laughs> shot down. Piece of bread actually dumping out his classic to pick up that shorty. Oh well, he just knows having he's go some, for some fun, cheeky. man. Yeah, he's gonna go for something cheeky. And now on match point here, we're reaching the end game for this one as they begin to make this up 2-0 sweep. Valiant effort, however, by the by the comets. I will say, you know, they got some picks, they got a round. That's that's good. I honestly, at least it's not a 13 0 sweep. Yeah. You know? It's really hard, though, when you got the B spot and he's going 18 and 4. Um, Wookiee's 13 and 2. Piece of bread is 12 and 4. It do, um, it do be like that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's really hard, you know, when you've got one player that's really popping off. Um, yeah. Let alone, like, you know, all the SMSU players are doing a really good job of playing off of each other. Yeah, and especially since uh, Papa Scruggs is playing with the 18 for, I believe, the first time. He's done really well for his team. And so, it, you know, it kind of just fits into the dynamic of the A team, the gold team, doing a really good job. Yeah, Ace Bay here, uh, their crosshair just kind of floating out of nowhere land. Just waiting for the um, possibility of they might be peeking out of the door, but no yeah, one Yeah, but it, ev even, in that, even in that situation, wasn't really placed head level. Oh, let's see it here. Oh, not going to be able to take it. Almost getting a double kill on that Phoenix as well. It will be 4-3. Beastmont going out with a Sheriff. Doesn't find any. You know, still pr probably trying to pad a scoreline a little bit. Just having some fun. And they're going to make the decision to get out of there, but you can already see SMSU is already beginning to make that rotation. They probably heard the footsteps as well. You can hear it in the A alternate uh, link and B side, so you're able to kind of hear them making those footsteps, and he's already in heaven watching from above. They will get the bomb down, though. And as we see this situation begin, uh, you see Caradot spotted in hell. Looking very dangerous right now, yeah. and especially with bomb no, down. No, Neob um, actually kind of misplaying this here. Um, Ooh, piece of bread coming in with the flank. And they know exactly where that Viper is. They're just going to set up the turret. They're going to go for the defuse. And there <laughs> it is. Oh, picks them up with man. The and a valiant effort on the side of the Comets. They will be taking this loss. And it will be Dunsky for the final game of the regular season. Again, great game by SMSU just to end their season off with an absolute bang. Looking very strong going into the postseason tournament. And, of course, you got the Beast mod who just popped off very, very well in Haven. Probably one of his strongest maps, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And just did what he had to do. So, very well done. Yeah, I mean, Beast mod ending up 20-4. and four, Wookie, 13-3. and three, Papa Scrubs, you know, substitute in. 12-8. and eight. Yeah. You got to be happy with that. Yeah, I mean, for a sub to come in on Team Gold, you know, doing what they got to do, they did really well. I mean... It was a really good game by both teams. Of course, SMSU will take this one with a dominant fist. They will ride off into the sunset of this regular season and hopefully try to make some moves in the post. So that's all you can really hope yeah, for. Yeah. Um, I believe we may have some more broadcast after this. I, I yeah. don't remember if there will be a playoff tournament for this or not. Uh, I believe I'd have to, we'll, we'll have to keep you guys updated on that situation, but the first time, the first thing we know about it, we will definitely let you guys know. 100%. I know for sure, I believe uh, Rocket League, I think, has one more game. Yeah, yeah. If, if I can plug Rocket League yeah, real quick well here. Yeah, we might as well get the plug um, in there. Uh, we have our last game on Monday. Um, it'll be at 6 or 7. Um, we're not quite sure yet. 
gonna try and get it pushed back to seven. But um, yeah, we've been on a, we've been on a tear. We've, yeah. we, we've won our last uh, last three games. We lost our first two, so um, we've been really trying to make some strides. And yeah, hey, mine is. You guys have been doing really well. I've watched the games. I've casted a couple of them, <laughs> and uh, I gotta say it's been a really strong performance by everyone on that team, and a very strong performance from all of our teams at SMSU. So. To end the regular season off with a banger like this, uh, I can't wait to see how Rocket League does in the in their final game. So, it's yeah, gonna we're really gonna exciting. we're gonna be looking to bring the heat. Yeah, one hundred percent for sure. And I believe this coming weekend we also have a FIFA tournament again. Uh, we're gonna be seeing the boys back once again for another FIFA tourney. So I'm very excited for that. But we will catch you guys later. This has been Afro and Craw McGraw, and we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.